placing these at Parliament gives a very strong signal to the community to make sure that we acknowledge what bees are doing for us, the pollination services, the production of honey. It recognizes the relationship that we have with these animals, which is up to 40,000 years old. So to kind of make sure that we keep that relationship between the bees or that we build this relationship again with the bees and that everyone is fully aware that how important it is to have these animals around and especially that we have healthy bees around us. We, we are so isolated here that we have the last remaining healthy bees on the planet. So we can still study these healthy bees and um, we can still be proactive. We can basically prepare ourselves as if like bad things would happen, if we would get the incursion of a novel parasite. We can still prepare ourselves for that event and that means in the long term we can, we can kind of keep our bees healthy and we can keep them healthy in a very sustainable way. The more I've learned about how important bees are to our whole society and, and the world's population and the fragility and the value of what they produce um, is all very compelling. So we're delighted to engage in this program to um, have three beehives at the front of Parliament House, harvest the honey, use it in our kitchens, promote the cause of bee health and, uh, and honey as a possible um, export opportunity for Western Australia even. You live with bees in the end, once you get hooked up, you, you don't get out of them because even after years and years you still look at these colonies and uh, you see this chaos, it looks like chaos, but you know, no, no, this is highly organized. You're, you're dealing with a very intelligent kind of creature that can do very, very interesting things.